without further ado, it's the final race of the first day of action here at the second round of the BNL Karting Series season here at Karting de Fagnes International Raceway at Marienburg in southeast Belgium. It's DD2 and DD2 Masters uh, final number two of four. There has been a few changes post race one. Uh, I know that uh, Zondo Shivlak has been demoted to the back of the grid. Uh, due to unfair driving, uh, to due, due to driving standards, unfortunately. So the defending champion will start 18th on the grid, uh, and on the back row will be alongside the 557 of Roland Kinch. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, it will be Dionysus Livris and David Remy, round number two, as they they, they are on the front row again. Then it will be Jan Nigussens and Sebastian de Grand on row number two in 490 and 447. Alexander Vermeulen in the 492 will have Carl Clevort alongside in the 510. So Clevort again will start from pole on DD2 Masters. Madeline Radney and Tamsin Germain make it a uh, female all row number four with Christoph Adams and Jan Schwitter completing the top ten. Alexander uh, Tsani Bekian and Jamie Billings round out row number six ahead of Christoph Nienin, uh, Fritz Vernsen, Alexander Derlinger, Ronald Billings, Roland Kinch and Zander Schriblak. 13 minutes plus one additional lap to go here today before we resume the action once again at around about quarter past nine local time tomorrow morning. So Libris will be on pole. So for those watching on the live stream, this will be that he will be on the left-hand side of your screens in the 436. David Remy will be alongside in the 455. That is the front row. We go into the final stage of the formation lap here at Karting de Fagne in Marienburg. The final time for Saturday, July 6th, 2019. So we have both Liveris and Clevort in their respective categories at one win apiece this weekend. Carl Clevort continues his success rate at 100% in terms of race victories. But could we see this happen again? There is one driver this weekend that has done all, has done six race wins this year, and it is Mike Van Vucht. Can Carl Clevort do the same thing here in DD2 Masters? There's a bit of bunching together, a bit of bumping as well. Will we get a lights out this time? Yes, we do. And uh, there was a bit of put, there was a bit of bumping, I think, in, in some cases, as uh, some drive. Well, hang on a minute! What a move from Tamsin Germain went right round the outside of Madeline Radney, I believe, as Jan Schwitter pounces and gets past the 525. Christoph Adams, oh, oh the 463 comes into contact, and that is. Alexander Zanbekian that uh, had a bit of contretemps with Christoph Adams that particular point. Going through towards into turn number four. Meanwhile at the front of the field, it is Remy now in third position. Looks like Jan Nigussens has got the jump at the moment. But Liris continues to lead at this particular moment in time. It's not going to be an easy one for the Greek driver from Dames Racing. As Gussens is going to have to watch it as Remy goes flying past the uh, Belgian going into turn number one. What a great move from the Swede. And right behind is Sebastian de Grand waiting to pounce uh, and get any sort of opportunity. Behind them is Alexander Vermeulen and Carl Clevort. As there's a, oh, there's a bit more of tussling there between the 490 of Jan Gussens and Sebastian de Grand. The pair went nearly side by side through turn number four. And there's nearly some more side by side action a little bit further down, probably through. Uh, Roland Kitchen, Kinch and uh, Fritz Vernsen going into turn four as well. But the two leaders now breaking away. So Dennis is Liveris, and there has been a time penalty issued, and it is for David Remy. That is for a three second penalty for leaving the track with two wheels. So Remy now already on the back foot. Let's see what the gap is between second and third position as it stands at the minute. And it is 0.855 as there is more side-by-side -side action going through this fantastic right-hand turn one sweeper here at Marienburg. Now they may be competing in different classes, but I think uh, when, you, when you consider it, there are positions and pride up for grab when it comes to being in front of the other category. And that's very much the case with uh, 
The likes of Tamsin Germain really, really putting on uh, some great moves here at Marienburg. She's behind Jan Schwitter in the 427 from FM Racing at the minute. So at the moment, uh, overall, Di Dionysus Liveris leads the way. David Remy at the moment is showing a second on the timing sh screens, but will drop three seconds back, depending on how quick the rest are behind him. And in many respects, I think that's going to be a huge drop down the order for David Remy. That looks to be around about 12th or 13th position by my count, by my approximate uh, calculations. So Liveris leads, Remy in second at the moment, Sebastian de Grand in third, Jan Nagussens and Alexander Vermeulen round out the top five. Karl Klebold still leads DD2 Masters and is just ahead of Jan Schwitter, but Tansen Germain is running right the back bumper of the uh, Swiss driver's heels. Going through into turns five and six. So we have nine and a half minutes plus an additional lap to go in this last race here at Marienburg to conclude what's well, been a fascinating and exciting action thrilled extravaganza here in southeast Belgium. But Liveris now pulling a gap over Remy. It was three tenths of a second last time around. It is now 0.463. So Liveris is starting to get away now. But whether the likes of de Grande and Gersens will have anything to say about it, because they are literally lying astern by about a gap of not even a cart length between the pair of them as they uh, hurtle their way down to the left-hander at turn number four. So the full running order at the moment, irrespective of class positions, Dionysus Libris Lees, David Remy in second, Sebastian de Grande in third, Janne Gersens in fourth place, Alexander Vermeulen in fifth, Karl Klebold in six ahead of Jan Schwitter, Tamsin Germain, Christoph Adams, Madeline Radney rounds out the top ten. Alexander Zanbekian, uh, Zani Bekian uh, is in 11th hand of uh, Zander Triblak, who has come up to 12th position, having started in 18th at the beginning of the race, uh, around about four and a half minutes ago. Christoph Liedenian in 13th, head of Roland Kinch, Alexander Derlinger, Fritz Vansen, Ronald Billings and Jamie Billings rounding out the 18 strong. All drivers still circulating at the moment. As Radney is uh, closing up on Christoph Adams, and there's another positional change for Zander Schriblak, who's just got past uh, Zani Bekian uh, for 11th there, coming out of turn three, heading into turn number four. Liris knows that he's got uh, a bit of a mountain to climb because he's got to keep a hold of this lead. He's got about a five-tenth five of a second advantage over Remy. But in many respects, that'll become a seven and a half tenth advantage over effectively the second person, the second place person elect, who is Sebastian de Grande at the moment. And I would think that it's probably going to put David Remy down into 10th place now. He's trying to pick up the pace now. And he's just done a 55-4-3-2. Jan Nigussens has done the best lap of anybody in this race of 55-3-5-2 from the number 490 from Belgium. And Gersens is trying to close the gap on Sebastian de Grande at the minute. Shivlak has got uh, Madeleine Radny in his sights. So he's trying to get past the uh, 468 from Sweden. Madeleine uh, just recently took... Oh, and there we go. The move happens. Uh, through into turn number six. Radny straight on the counter-offensive, but can't capitalise on the tight infield sections at turns seven, eight, nine, and ten to get past the uh, 412, who is the uh, defending and reigning uh, DD2 champion in the BNL Karting Series. Liveris' lead was just under four and a half tenths last time around. It's now extended to just a fraction over, half a second, as there is this great battle here. So Tamsin Germain is ahead of Zondra Triblak, who's got Madeline Radney right over his back bumper. And there we go, he sends it up the inside of uh, Tamsin Germain and Radney tries to capitalise on the 525 coming out of turn three, can't make it stick. So six minutes plus an additional lap. Still to go in this final race of the day here at Marienburg. But Liveris still continues to lead the way and has done so since lights out. 
So five minutes, 40 seconds, plus an additional lap. Liveris comes to complete lap number eight here. And now the gap between uh, the Greek driver and uh, Sweden's David Remy now jumps to nearly six and a half tenths of a second. Sebastian de Grand still in third place as Madeleine Radny gets past Tamsin Germain for position. That's now for tenth on the road. Nevertheless, Tamsin Germain still is third in DD2 at the moment. Christoph Adams is a little bit further up the road in eighth overall and in second in class, whereas Carl Klebold is still sitting in sixth position and is about nearly six tenths of a second ahead of Switzerland's Jan Schwitter. But Schwivlak is moving very, very quickly indeed and can sense that there is the time is not on his side. He's now up into ninth place and is chasing down the triple five of Christoph Adams for what is effectively eighth on the road. Still very level between the top four. The gaps haven't really increased that much. So Remy is about uh, just under five and a half tenths behind Liveris. De Grand is just over four tenths behind uh, Remy. And then you've got uh, Gussens, who is just over a quarter of a second. And the move has happened between uh, Christoph Adams and Zander Schriblak. So Schriblak now up into eighth place. The next person on his list will be the 427 of FM Racing's Jan Schwitter, who's a little bit further up the road, probably to the tune of around half a second. As we come into the last four minutes, plus an additional lap in this uh, DD2 and DD2 Masters race here at the BNL Karting Series being held at Karting de Fagne in Marienburg. And the gap between first and second is now just over seven and a half tenths. It's 0.779 seconds as that was definitely a late-breaking <laughs> late breaking opportunity for Jan Gussens to try and get one over on Sebastian de Grand in the 4-4-7 just up ahead. So running order at the moment, it's Liveris from Remy, de Grand, Gussens, Vermeulen, Klebolt, uh, Schwitter, Schriblak, Adams, Radny, Germain, Sunny Bekian, Lienen, Vernonsen, uh, Derlinger, Billings, Kinch and, uh, well, both Roland Kinch and Jamie Billings are not taking any further participation in this race. So final three minutes plus one lap. The gap really now starting to extend between first and second. Could that be over a second for Dionysus Liveris? Or not quite, 0.971 seconds. So the 436 has just put in uh, a 55087, but also Dionysus Liveris also has the fastest lap of the race and is the only driver in this race to have gone sub 55 seconds. His best time was a 54.989. So Liveris definitely really pushing the envelope and trying to break away from Remy, which is done quite convincingly. Remy at the moment, if things were to finish as they are now, he would end up in around about sixth position behind Carl Glebolt in terms of the uh, three second time penalty that has been uh, given. There's still a very interesting battle between uh, Sebastian de Grand and Jan Nigussens for what is effectively second on the road as uh, Remy will not factor into that because he hasn't made inroads to get away from the two behind or actually make that the three behind which includes Alexander Vermeulen so Remy could still secure a fifth place finish in this race if he uh, keeps just pushing forward last time Remy did a 55-2-0-3 Carl Clibort who is the person that is leading DD2 Masters in this race in sixth overall did a 55-2-9-1 so if Remy can get probably around about a tenth of a second a lap quicker than uh, Carl Clearbolt on every single lap until the end of this race. He's got a real good chance of securing fifth. So it's exactly 1.1 seconds last time around between Liveris and Remy. It now goes to 1.183. So Liveris still continues to uh, control proceedings from the front. 
Gussens is trying to uh, close up on De Grand, who in turn is trying to close up on Remy. As uh, Zander Shivlak has now got past Jan Schwitter for seventh position. He's managed to get uh, back from 18th and stone dead last up into seventh place. He's got about four tenths of a second between himself and also Carl Clearbolt at, at the moment. And um, Shublak, well, that, yeah, it was probably about six tenths of a second last time around, but the gap may be concertinering uh, ever so slightly. So eight seconds on the clock to go. Liveris will cross the line, I think, literally with a handful to go. Three seconds on the clock. So it's going to be this plus an additional lap as the time has now expired. As Liveris uh, goes through turn two for the penultimate time here at Marienburg uh, for today. And I do have to say that Yanni Gussens is closing up on Sebastian Grand yet again, De Grand yet again but can't capitalise. So that would really hurt his chances of potentially getting what is effectively second on the road because Remy will be demoted uh, post-race. So leading the way uh, in the overall, uh, I'll give you the uh, top three in the overall classification so far. Dionysus Liveris, uh, David Remy in terms of the race as it runs at the moment before the post-race penalty is applied. Sebastian de Grand is in third, but Yanni Gussens will get third as a result of the time penalty. Carl Clearbolt is in sixth, but leading DD2 Masters. Final lap board is out. Second in DD2 Masters is Christoph Adams with Thames and Germain a further 2.151 seconds back. That's good enough for her to secure third in class. Liris goes through turn four into the right hander at turn five for uh, the ever tightening turn number six now this is it's difficult to say is Gussens going to try and do a last ditch attempt to get past De Grand because if he does and it works it'll be in his favour but it's time running out there are corners uh, not even a couple of corners probably to go as Dionysus Liveris will come out of the penultimate corner down towards the chicane for the final time the checkered flag is being prepared and the greek does it two for two here at marienburg david remy takes second 1.551 seconds behind but as a result of that will drop to fifth position post race so sebastian de grand will take second position so it is a uh, Dames Racing 1-2, matter of fact. So I know that Jan Dames will be very happy about that one. Janni Gussens will take third position as we just wait for Ronald Billings to cross the line, which he does now. So just waiting for the uh, timing to uh, just give me the uh, results. And it is confirmed that Dionysus Liveris and Sebastian de Grand make it a Dames Racing 1-2 in the second round. The second race of the weekend for DD2 and DD2 Masters. Yanni Gussens takes third ahead of Alexander Vermeulen. Carl Clairbolt actually ends up fifth ahead of David Remy. So Carl Clairbolt takes top honours in DD2 Masters. Zander Schriblak finishes in seventh ahead of Jan Schwitter. Madeleine Radny and Christoph Adams take second in class but rounds out the top ten. Tamsin Germain in eleventh. Alexander uh, Bekian, Christoph Lienen. Fritz Wernsen, Alexander Dullinger and Ronald Billings ran at the 16 that finished with Roland Kinch and Jamie Billings not completing the full race distance.